Hi, this is Yoga Jane, and I have moved to Hawaii, beautiful Hawaii. And in the Aloha spirit, I've decided to do a video, uh, a little bit of relaxation for the face, for those of us who get headaches, jaw pain, shoulder pain, neck pain. So let's start how we always start. Let's rub the hands together. They're nice and warm. And once they're nice and warm, bring your hands to your neck and just press and release. Press and release the area of your neck. Feeling what you're doing as you do it. Dissolving tensions as you press and release. Notice what you feel under your fingertips. What does the tissue, the skin feel like? Is it very stiff? Is it thick? Are there knots or like little Rice Krispies under your fingers? Is it smooth? Is it tender? What do you feel? And massage your face, strum along the jaw, relax your jaw, relax your tongue. Not too hard. Massage the muscle here that connects the nose and the cheek. Massage your forehead and bend your fingertips, so no stiff fingers. Bend and just lightly go up to the hairline and out. Feel your temples. Just kind of making little circles with your fingertips, so you're kind of just going like that. behind your ears, and if you have a ponytail, just let it out, take out your hair, let it loose, all the way into the scalp, which also will help hair growth. You can scratch it a little too if that feels good. And come back into the neck and shake out your hands like they're wet. And then you're going to take one hand, bring it to the opposite shoulder, and just press and release. Tilt your head to the opposite side. You may even want to look down at your opposite shoulder. And just press and release. If you have so much shoulder pain that bringing one shoulder across, just, to, just like that, uh, you could have an impingement, you could have a rotator cuff problem. You probably should go to your doctor, working your way down the arm, pressing and releasing. Massage also helps to synthesize the growth hormone. Get into your hand, get into the pad of the thumb, just going across it like that. And keep your jaw relaxed and loose, your shoulders relaxed and loose. You can also go across like that, up and across like that. Okay. Shake them out, pause, close your eyes, feel your feet on the floor, sit nice and tall. Bring your hand to the opposite shoulder. Pull your head away so that you have access all the way up behind your ear. And keep your breath moving slowly. If you're breathing very quickly, very short and shallow, if you're being impatient with yourself, just stop that now and relax. Any sounds you notice in this video, background sounds, cars, birds chirping away, just let it all relax you and be a lull in the background, working your way down the arm. Any sounds in your environment, children playing or yelling, heaters, air conditioners, boilers, house sounds, just let them all relax you. And anything I haven't mentioned that may be present, do your best to just relax and let go. 
Going back into the hand, same thing. <laughs> I get trouble with the camera sometimes. So you're going across like that, just like the other side. And if it's very tender, don't go as deep, don't go as hard, go a little bit lighter and work your way deeper. Remember to keep the face relaxed. I'm a jaw clencher and I have to constantly, many times every hour, just relax my jaw. Good. And then really shake out your hands like they're wet. Feel your feet on the floor. If your legs are crossed, uncross them. We're going to draw some circles with the shoulders, moving from the front up and back and down, up, back, and down. You may want to coordinate the breath and breathe in and breathe out as you come down. Breathing in as you go up, breathing out as you go down. And reverse. Let your face be very relaxed, very blank. That's known as the hypnotic mask. Some people may confuse it for looking like you're in a stupor or drunk or high or something, but you're just relaxing your whole face. It might not be the nicest to look at. It doesn't matter. Close your eyes. And relax it back in your chair if you're still moving your shoulders just relax them now your jaw your face and deepen your breath if your chest is moving up and down like this stop that and breathe deeper Deeper, deeper down, feel the belly move forward or descend, really is what ha is happening. Your diaphragm is descending. Your ribs are moving out laterally. And then as you exhale, let go of the air as slow and as controlled as possible, relaxing your face and your scalp a little bit more. We're going to cup the hands. This is especially for those of us who get tension headaches and migraines. And you're going to bring them over your eyes like so. And you're just going to make little circles, light, very light. And then reverse them, very soft, very light. And then take your index in your middle and even your ring if you have smaller fingers, bend them and just lightly go up and down. Keep your neck long, don't have your head forward. That's um, a normal bad habit that we most of us have from all the forward stuff we do, but try your best, do your best to keep your neck long, jaw loose and relaxed. You can make circles from the front to the back or from the back to the front, or you can just lightly strum up and down. You can use all your fingers if you like. Nice and gentle. If your arms get tired holding them up, just drop them down and relax. Let them go. If you're still massaging, Continue on if it feels good, and it's fine. And when you're done, let your arms drop down. Then we're going to inhale, elevate the shoulders up, hold the breath, hold it, and then sigh and drop. And again, up, hold it. Sigh and drop. 
Then we're going to do another posture exercise. It's going to help to strengthen the rhomboids and the trapezius muscle. And one reason a lot of us get these tension headaches is because the trapezius muscle, it inserts all the way back up onto the, into the occiput. And then it comes down the back and goes all the way down to T12. It has several segments. But because of this forward stuff that we often do, and then we clench our jaws, we get neck pain, we get head pain. Okay, so we're going to, it's a very easy posture exercise. You're going to make little fists. I might stand up just a little bit so you can see. And you're just coming back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Keep your neck very long. Again, inhale back. Squeezing. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, relax. And you don't have to hold the breath. Inhaling back, keep breathing in. Breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Squeezing the shoulder blades. Exhale. Inhale back. And exhale. I'm continuing sitting down. Inhaling back. And exhale. And release. Five more. Squeeze your shoulder blades together so you feel your shoulder blades coming together. I might be able to also show you this way. So you're going to come back. One, two, three, four, five, or back. One, two, three, four, five. So you can do it both ways. So you can do it with your elbows wider or closer together. Let me get my seat back. Keep going a few more. You know, 15 to 20 of these several times a day would be best. So I'm not going to continue to sit here while you do them all. You can pause it, do a few more, really get into it, breathe with it if you really want to change your posture and strengthen this area so that you can easily sit taller so that your muscles don't get fatigued. That's what this kind of exercise is for. So if you've paused it and now you've pressed play again or you've already done your whole set, you're just going to again relax the shoulders down, let the palms face up so you're externally rotated at the shoulder. Neck is nice and long, like there's a string pulling from the crown. And I don't always position the computer in my chair as well, so sometimes I look a little bit crooked and I'm sensitive to it, but that's what you want to feel. I am straight, it just may be my setup. Relax your jaw, relax your lips, relax your tongue, your whole face. And as you relax your jaw, you may even hear your ears sort of popping because the jaw, the head here, it goes right close to the ear and depending on the placement of your jaw and how much you clench it, you can be having that so close to the ears that it gives you pain, headaches, uh, maybe even uh, tinnitus. Just relax. Let it all go. Feeling almost weightless. You can lay down, place an eye pillow over your eyes. That would really help to relax your whole face. It's one of my favorite things to do, uh, especially if I have a migraine or a headache. That darkness, the relaxation, the weight, the deep pressure of an eye pillow feels so good. And if you are laying down, just let your feet fall outwards. Let your palms face up on the floor. Relax at a comfortable distance from your body so that your shoulder blades just feel like they're tucked in and aligned and relaxed. Make sure the shoulders aren't up by the ears. Drop them down. And if you're staying seated, that's fine, too. 
Relaxing all the muscles of your face, all the muscles of your neck. Your breath can be short, it can be shallow. Let it be natural, just abandon it. The more you relax, the better you feel. The better you feel, the more you relax. Feel your gluteus muscles, your butt cheeks just relaxing, spreading, not holding muscles of your thighs and if you feel pain on the sides of your thighs that could be your ITB you maybe need to foam roll them out to further your relaxation and comfort in your own skin you may be kind of in and out feeling sort of half awake half asleep. And I'm going to count back. And you can imagine you're stepping on to an escalator, descending down levels of relaxation, peace, and tranquility deepening more and more with each level. And you shouldn't relax too quickly or become more comfortable in your comfortable feeling. And descending the escalator or stairs or hills or mountains, whatever you prefer, deeper, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. More and more you find as you go through your day, you remember to relax your jaw. You remember to stand and sit tall in your seat and to correct your posture. And correcting your posture becomes more and more natural and unconscious. And poor posture becomes more foreign, abnormal, and uncomfortable to you. You enjoy being aligned and straight. Your tallest, your strongest, your brightest self coming forth to the surface. Feeling an inner smile, an inner brightness glowing and growing inside of you. Warming your abdomen and intestines. 
And relaxing any tension in your abdominals or in your back. Relaxing more and more and more. You find yourself doing the exercises that you know are meant for you to do each day, posture exercises, or any other exercises that you know feels good, decreases your pain, increases your happiness, your joy, your serenity, your health. In a few moments, you'll return back, feeling energized, refreshed, alive, grateful. Setting your intention to keep your head and scalp and jaw relaxed. And if you're laying down, you can gently begin to turn your head, rolling your head on the floor, side to side, almost as if you're not even doing it. If you're sitting, you can just turn your head slowly, side to side, nice and slow. Notice any sensations in your ears. And up and down. Again, if you're on the floor, you're just gently nodding up and down. If it hurts, do it less. This should be comfortable and feel good. If you're on the floor especially, you should feel the back of your neck lengthening as you draw your chin down. And the front of your neck lengthening as you tip your chin upwards. If you're sitting up, you want to make sure you're feeling your chin go towards the back of your throat, not down like that, more down like a nod. And then tilting side to side. And if you're laying down, just stay still. And then reach your arms up over your head in either position, breathing in. Mm. And take your time and come back. You may have the yoga glow, that glassy eyed look, that yoga buzz. Enjoy it. Namaste.